are you looking to have your Facebook profile verified and having it this kind of blue tick mark next to your profile I'm not talking about a page your personal profile you want to have a tick mark right so you can able to showcase your authenticity to your audience and your fan and followers you want that right and one more thing you may be not a celebrity but you a CEO or maybe a founder of a startup or maybe you are also working in a corporate industry it's very much possible to get this tick mark I have seen a lot of people get it and I'm going to show you so you can get it as well too as long as your profile is authentic you want that right so what are you waiting for let's get started So let's give a big hand to, to these student leaders to bring the training to you. Why don't you give a big hand to them? All you need to do, come to this URL, to which is actually to submit the request. I'm going to show you how to fill it up. But before that, before I start to show you how to fill it up, I'm going to give you a few important tips because these are really, really important for you to get it working. The link of this form is in the description of the video. So check it out in the description section. You will see the link and then you will be able to go to the link too. But hey, before fill up, few things I want to tell you. For my understanding and for my observation and investigation, I have seen there are two things. Number one, make sure that your Facebook profile name is exactly the same name and it shows to your passport or ID card, which you are going to use in the form. So that's the one. It needs to be exactly the same. All right. And the number two, you need to have at least 1000 followers in your Facebook profile. And the third thing is about you was not posting and sharing a lot of controversial material in your Facebook profile because you may get a red flag by that activity. So these are the three things you remember, okay? But now I agree that we both agree that your profile is fine with all of them, right? So now here's the way you're gonna get started. Like I said this one, we're gonna do have a blue tick mark for your Facebook profile. So select the profile confirm authenticity your profile need to authenticity so there are multiple options you can put a driving license you can put a passport or you can put a national id card tax filling and recent utility bill or article or or incorporation but this is the weakest one so better you choose one of the top four is normally is a very very strong one so driving license normally is a very easy one to get started with and i highly recommend that also too and then basically all you need to do is just basically upload by clicking the choose file from your computer the second thing is about you choose what's your category news media or you're a sports professional or you work in the government and politics you are in music or you have a fashion or you're an entertainment you're a digital creator blogger influencer or you gamer or business brand or organization or other you choose what you are trying to represent like an example if you are a sportsman so choose the sports if you let's say if you're a, a startup ceo you could choose business or maybe you could choose even a blogger influencer to make it because as a ceo maybe you're trying to influence other people so let's put it on that way now you need to choose where you are let's say if you're in singapore you choose where in singapore and the next thing is about is about is about audience who are you really looking to audience youth example i'm going to give you youth university student and young professionals or you wanted to influence doctors or you wanted to influence uh let's say about sports lover you write it down your uh, audience and and now you can write it down what are the other names you are well known for like let's say you can choose the way you are known like your nicknames which is most popular so now now this next part is about they're asking for five links so I want to give you some really good valuable tips about this. First, if you have a website, put your website URL, all right? If you have a LinkedIn profile, put down your LinkedIn profile as well too. So your first and second link should be the LinkedIn profile and your website URL. That will be really strong one. The number three is about, you put down, if you have a blog you're writing around, maybe you have a website where you write, do blogging, put down the most popular article link there and now you may have a facebook page or you probably has put on as a facebook page that will also make sense if you have a few thousand followers it would be great more than five thousand would be great value as well too the last one that link number five my tips will be that if you got any particular third party link who talk about you and your work maybe a, a, a local newspaper talked about you or maybe um some another website give you uh, shared about your work 
put the link if you've been to in a TV media let's say a TV channel made a report about you put on the link that will be really valuable and then all you need to do is press send so normally it takes one to three to seven is maximum to get a response normally you get immediate response only one case if your profile doesn't have enough qualification to get it so then you will get an immediate res uh, response and normally it will tell you 30 days to reapply again so normally it's most of the time it happened to you when your names of your pro profile and the, the document you are sharing is not the same Facebook pick it up immediately and not say you out as not an authentic profile and just move it up from you so that's the way is about if you made a mistake for some reason wait for 30 days to resubmit again because if you submit again before 30 days most likely you're gonna resubmit again too and here you go that's the way you can get a verified tick box batch to your Facebook profile to get more authenticity to your audience so you can bring more value to there's, a, there's another video here right now which I'm gonna share with you more tips about the Facebook how you can integrate your Facebook chat to your website so you can go and click that video and learn so you can get more people to reach out to you through your website as well too and don't forget to subscribe because we give these kinds of tips every week one to two tips so if you subscribe you will get the next tips as well too and click right now watch the this video and we'll see you right now